Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Ramadan Bites. Allah says in the Quran, Man the ladhi yuqridu Allah qardan hasanan fayudha'ifahu lahu adha'afan kathira. Who is willing to make an investment with Allah, such an investment where they will have their returns multiplied and multiplied. If we were given the opportunity to make an investment in this world with a company or an, an investment that we've heard about, where we're guaranteed 100% returns and the best possible returns, then we would no doubt all rush to make that investment. So how about with Allah, Dhul Fadl al Azim, the possessor of great bounties, when he's promising you the best of returns. So when you give in charity, dear brother, dear sister, then remember, this is an investment that will never be lost. And Allah is guaranteeing you the best possible returns. Allah also says in the Quran, in tubdu sadaqati fani If you openly give your charity uh, in front of others, then this is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So long as your intention is for Allah and not for the people, then Allah will reward you for this. And this is no doubt something that can even motivate others to give in charity. But then Allah says, وَإِن تُبْدُوهَا وَإِن تُخْفُوهَا وَتُؤْتُوهَا الْفُقَرَاءَ فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ That if you are to uh, discreetly give in charity to the poor and do it without anybody knowing, then this is even better for you, even better than doing it openly. وَيُكَفِّرُ عَنْكُمْ مِنْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ And he will, uh, out of this charity, he will forgive you for your sins and wipe away your sins. And those uh, that give in charity need to remember that they want to do this only for the sake of Allah, not so that the poor people can be grateful towards them. As Allah says in the Quran, describing the people of, of Jannah, that verily we would feed you, O poor people, for, the, for the, the pleasure of Allah, because we wanted the pleasure of Allah, not for anything else. We don't want from you a, a reward or even for you to say thank you. And this is why the scholars say, don't even tell a person who when you give them uh, a charity, don't even say to them, uh, you know, or make dua for me. Just give it to them and khalas, for the, for the sake of Allah. As uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, As-sadaqatu tutfi'u al-khati'a. The charity, it extinguishes the, uh, the sins of a person. Kama yutfi'u al-ma'u al-nara. Just as water extinguishes the fire uh, and how many of us are in need of extinguishing our sins how many of us have accumulated sins and sins and we are in need of the mercy of Allah and this is why the Ubad Salihin, those people who are pious and righteous they would say that when a person doesn't sin uh, he feels bad in his heart as we know there's a black dot in your heart when you do a sin you feel a really bad feeling after doing that sin and this bad feeling, shaitan can work on this and make you feel that, oh, how can I do good things now? How can I go on and, and do you know, the good work that I'm doing when I'm, I, you know, I've done such a sin? This is why they say, as soon as you do that sin, then rush to give in charity. Rush to give in sadaqah. It will take away that, this bad feeling that you have and allow you to carry on doing uh, your work. And moving on now to Ramadan. Uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he said about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam كان أجود الناس he was the most generous of people وكان أجود ما يكون في رمضان and he was even more generous when it came to uh, the month of Ramadan and so this is a great opportunity for us inshallah to go ahead and give in charity now if you have a lot of wealth and you are wealthy mashallah then and this is the bounty of Allah and Allah gives the bounty to who he wills. This is a great blessing for you. But what about those of you that perhaps are, are not as wealthy and you don't have much and you're financially struggling? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, That save yourself from the fire even if it's with, not even a full date, just a part of the date. How many of us can, cannot do that? Taking a part of the date and giving it to your brother, this is a sadaqah and this will uh, save you from the fire. And uh, the, he, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued to say, فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ فَبِكَلِمَةٍ طَيِّبَةٍ 
And if you don't even have that, that, that small piece of date to give, then even a good word to your brother or your sister, speaking to them kindly and nicely with manners, showing them good manners, this is also a charity. How beautiful is our religion that even the person who has no wealth to give, he can still uh, gain these rewards and give in charity. And how easy is it for us, the loose change that you might have in your pocket, you know, one pound, 50p, whatever it is, even if it's, inshallah, pennies, then give in charity and you will see that investment in the hereafter. بإذن الله تعالى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته